What you're about to experience are my opinions and truths. I'm suggesting their possibilities for you to consider, in which you can then come up with your own logical conclusions. Very grand welcome to all the fellow decoders out there around the world, wherever you are. My name is Logan, and this is Decode Your Reality. And today we're going to be breaking down and decoding the number 33. And folks, this presentation is going to be a lengthy one. It's going to have a lot of slides. I've got a lot of hours in this one. This one, by far, is going to probably be my best presentation so far out of all the 200 plus videos because it's a collaboration of many other decodes brought into this and it really leads to that 33. And so get some headphones on, get strapped in. Lock out the outside world. Folks, this one's going to rattle your cage. It's going to blow your mind. It's going to put so many things into perspective. And this graphic that you're looking at right here has so much symbolism that I've added in. And all this is going to be narrated throughout this presentation that's coming before you. So let's get started. Here are the topics for tonight's presentation or today's presentation <laughs> in the zero position the intro which is what we're doing now i always want to include the zero number one the game master number two 32 degrees number three 42 and 33 number four infinite scorpio Scorpio's got a lot to do with this presentation. Number five, we're going to bring some Metallica into this and ride the lightning. Number six, a song off that album, Trapped Under Ice. What does that have to do with 33? Well, you're about to find out. Number seven, The Trapped Fools. Number eight, Red Pill. Number nine, The Air We Breathe. Number 10, Dualistic Abyss. And then, of course, always love to hear what you saw during your observations of these presentations in position number 11. So here we go, folks. The first topic. Oh, this is going to be a fun one. The Game Master. And it really starts with this show which I haven't even watched. I just have watched the trailer. Someone had brought it to my attention last year. 
and I watched the trailer. And this is what stood out for me. It was this three clubs. And of course, Alice in Wonderland has everything to do with the 33. And this show has everything to do with 33 and the Game Master. This three clubs, of course, when you look and know the symbolism, you go and you go and look and you see that, you know, the 16, which is a match to the word hell, is a match to the 16th card that they're displaying in that trailer. Three clubs is the 16th card in the cards of illumination, which is a direct match to the word hell, 16. And there, <coughs> there it is. And this is, you know, this was the big takeaway for me is that this, this kid says that there's a game master and he's holding that three clubs up. Remember the three is one half of the 33. And what's so very fascinating about that three clubs tied to the word hell because it's the 16th card is, you know, the breakdown of this character right here. They casted for the show Lucifer on Netflix as well. Thomas John Ellis. Notice his first name is Thomas, which is the twin brother's name from Jesus. So they casted him to play Lucifer and lo and behold, his November 17th birth card is that three clubs card how about that and of course you know it goes into the tarot which is the three wands which means launching long-term plans because when you get down here in hell that's what you have to do and that's card number 24 and that's a match to the x chromosomes the x is the 24th letter which is what we all have the x and y chromosomes so it just synchronizes using separate components separate systems but yet here we are and we're able to synchronize these directly and that was the starting point point. and lucifer has so much to do with the 33 and the game master and you know i want to just digress and show all of you you know remember that this word right here is the 19 and of course the 19th card in the tarot is the sun card but it's also matched to this right there just using the chaldean but there it is it's the 19 and that's why that big topic or that big idea on the world stage has the number 19 attached to it because of the power behind it and 19 of course you can't get any more opposites on the numbering lineage of the one through nine or the zero through nine but there is the starting point and the 16, of course, just want to digress and show you the 16 is this element right here, sulfur. And if you'll notice the atomic weight as an average, what it has is the 32. And of course, that's one number that's below the 33. And that has so much to do with this presentation. And we're going to be getting into that hot and heavy. So here is more of the 16 tied to the game master down here in hell the 16th card looking to your right is the tower card of course massive disruption if ever you get that card, i love getting these cards because there's only one way to go and that's up because you're completely demolished when you get that card and of course it's tied to the golden ratio 1.6 so it's all tied to creation and it's tied to apocalypse of course because Apocalypse equals 40 and going down into the string of pi, notice that the 16 appears at the 40th decimal digit. And, you know, 16, of course, is not only the tower card, but how fitting it's the Vedic god called Shiva or the Hindu god called Shiva the Destroyer. So you can see how just using Chaldean and using Pi and the Tarot, they're all in bed together directly. Don't have to deviate away and use any other kind of numerology cipher. The truth's there. You can see it. And we're just getting started here. So, you know, right below that 33 is the 32. And it has everything to do with the 33. And, of course, Game Master is a 32. And, you know, what happens to water at 32 degrees? Well, it transmutes. It changes from a liquid to a solid. And that's an indication of the reality of our incarnation. We become mankind slowed down 
into physical matter. And we go into that 32. And of course, three plus two is five. And that is boron and that is mankind. 33 is six, that would be carbon. So we're a mixture of the five and the six. And I'm gonna be getting into that. The 32 and 33 is where we sit in the numbers and this code that expresses itself that was created not by us. And we just live through the code. So there are two elements on either side that you'll notice have the 32. On the left is sulfur and it has 16 protons, but there's the 32 where I showed that. And then you have to the right here is germanium coming from the word germania, which is Germany. And there's the 32 protons. And of course the number that it has for its atomic weight, its average is 72. And you know, what's the story on the world stage of the number 72? Well, you know, if you look up the angels and demons in the, 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 in the biblical sense, it's right there, the 72 angels and demons. And of course, I believe they're all tied to the puppet master and perhaps they're tied to that story called the watchers in the book of Enoch. And you know, those are our handlers, but ultimately it's the architect that runs everything. And there you go, right below the puppet on strings what controls mankind right there is the 72 staring us in the face and again you know well what's what's going on 72 angels and demons what controls mankind 72 angels and demons is that what the narrative is is that what it's telling us and of course 32 is going to be tied to duality in the black and white which is why i have the checkered board floor but mankind is just a puppet on strings being used by the game master tied to these angels and demons it's really interesting and of course it's tied to the most important six elements on the periodic table and in my decode of architect of the universe the very first one there's going to be a number five coming out but in the very first one, this was one of the slides taken from that presentation. And it was carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, phosphorus, and sulfur. What's the last one? Sulfur, sulfur. And there is sulfur right there. Game Masters 32, sulfur has an atomic weight of 32, and then germanium has 32 protons. And it's all right there, staring us in the face. And of course, when you add these atomic weights up, when you do the alchemy of these six elements, the most important chemical elements, which make up the most biological molecules on earth, according to science, there it is doing the alchemy. We get the number 105.952. That 105, of course, is a mirror of the 501. There is your 501 blues and you know the guy who Levi Strauss, the tribe of Levi in the biblical sense. I had come out with that on the 501c3. If you haven't seen that decode, check it out. But there it is. It's what the Masons call God, the great architect of the universe. That's a 105. And, you know, they use the square and compass. And that's a direct match to the Tetragrammaton and the 47. Remember, Washington, D.C. is 47. White House is 47. Georgetown is 47. The university in Washington, D.C. They're all run by the Tetragram. That's what runs all this reality. It's all right there. You, you can't miss it. And, oh, let me just show you one more thing right here. If you add up the protons, 6, 1, 7, 8, 15, and 16, you're going to get 53, which is one half of the I am that I am. It's very important. So it really comes down to the as above, so below. And, you know, almost all of you, if not all of you, know that statement. Know what that means. Know, know what that axiom means. What happens above happens below. Macro to micro. And that's a 58. And that's a direct match to the word puppet master. And I have shown this so many times throughout countless presentations now. And many of you have been using it because it has a ton of merit in this narrative of how this reality works. And the 58, of course, is tied to the element cobalt, which is chaos and order. It is tied to the 58th element, Cerium, which is tied to Ceres, which is the god of agriculture, which then gets into the Shemitahs and what this year and next year is going to be all about, the Golden Jubilee year. But there it is. It's 
it's pie itself. And that's what we live in, folks. We live in pie. And, you know, here's a good narrative from the tarot telling us exactly what's going on in our reality and us as human beings. Many of you think that we're trapped in this reality and we're stuck here. But nonetheless, we're being used to play out the narrative. So you can, you could definitely say that in a sense. And this is the eight spades. And of course, eight is the number of death and regeneration ruled and operated by Scorpio. And that's why I have one of the topics on here, Scorpio. It's going to be a huge, 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 huge topic. And we're going to get back to this eight swords a little bit later on, but you know, puppet master and ruling over mankind because you got nowhere to go. You know, you, you, you come into this reality and you're forced to play the game. I mean, you can take yourself out or, but nonetheless, you don't know what's on the other side. And you know, the grass may not always be greener. So let's get into the next topic. 32 degrees, which, you know, we've kind of already gone over that with the game master, but 32 degrees is really where it's at. That is one half of this reality, 32 and 33. At this point now, I don't think 33 even means ascension. I just think it means you wake up, you realize you're trapped and limited, which is what this card right there represents. But nonetheless, 32 degrees right here is a 59. Now I had to modify this because the Chaldean will just reduce this down to the five, but in its most authentic expression, 32 is 32. So it's 32 and 27 and that's 59. And that's a direct match to right below is the game of life. And the, the graphic I have in the background is a human being submerged underwater, under the ice why I have a topic called trapped under ice. Wait till you see these sinks on this one. The entire reality that we're living folks is absolutely fixed. It's rigged, it's scripted, and it's not done by mankind. 32 degrees is 59. The game of life is 59. Remember 59 equals 14 reduced down. Pi is 3.14. 14 reduced down is the five. Five is the busiest number. Five sits in the middle of the, all the numbers of your dial pad or calculator. Five is boron, which is man. So clearly when you start to synchronize this even further, it starts to really strengthen the narrative to where it's really undeniable because 32 degrees being 59 and 59 being the 17th prime number and 17 being tied to the word life. Well, I mean, it doesn't get any more clear than that because when we come down into 32, we end up having to live out life. Awake or not, you can be completely awake when you want to say I'm awake, but how far does that get you? And I showed this in my upcoming presentation, uh, the Architect of the Universe 5, which I have coming out soon, a preview of that and the game of life. And you know, this is, you know, the Adam and Eve story and being tied to life. And, you know, I mean, it's pretty clear that, you know, we live under that, the matrix, and that's a direct match. Again, I, do you, I'm not even moving away from the Chaldean. I don't have to. This tells the narrative so deep and so acute. And then, you know, we all become the stars and this is one of the Aquarian cards, but it's the star card. And remember, Thomas John Ellis was born on October 17th. I mean, November 17th, excuse me. And clearly you can see the narrative is just, it gets comical to me. It just gets funny. And that's the only way to really look at this kind of stuff. So going really deep, I mean, this is, you know, stuff that may be more advanced, but it's very basic, folks. When you take the 32 and 33 and you bring them together and then you dump that into the string of pi. And you know, just to digress here, this is the website that I use for my decoding of pi. It's called sabidium.com. And if you type in any number up to 2 million digits, it's gonna give you a result. And there is the 3233 and it appears at the 3700th decimal digit. So it occupies 
the 3700, the 3701, the 3702, and the 3703. But the separation point is between the 32 and the 33, which would end at digit 3701. And of course, 371 is an anagram, a number anagram of the 137, which is tied to the angle of light, tied to the 33rd prime number. So you can clearly see, folks, that the architect of this reality is a mathematician far beyond the scope of any of our brains and the way they work. I mean, sure, we're finding this, but it's just the architect showing you its own creation, using you, using me to show you the creation. And, you know, lo and behold, that 3701, which is the separating point of 32 and 33, is a prime number itself. It's the 517th prime number, which is another number anagram of the 157. And of course, that's tied to or fits into the 64th element, the GD element. You might as well say it's the God element. It's the 157. What do they think the odds would be, folks? The 32 and 33 tied together in pi which is what we all make up through the sine and cosine waves. I've been showing this through the emotions. You can be mad. And I got some of that coming out with, with this decode. But that's 64, of course. It's, that's why there's 64 squares on a chessboard. That's why there are 64 possible codons in our DNA. It's, it's, it's right there. You can't miss this. And folks, man's not coding this, okay? They're just not. This is too detailed at these levels. So let's keep going with this. So, you know, when you add up the two digits that make up the 32, right before the 33, it's 3701 and 37, I'm sorry, 3700 and 3701. Using the trusty calculator, it adds up to the number 7401. I mean, are you kidding me? There's the 741, of course, tied to what Manly P. Hall calls the numbers of Lucifer. 740. Anytime you see 741, folks, in my opinion, it's tied to the sun. The sun's the master. Master's 19. Sun is the 19th card in the tarot. It's a battery. 741. I mean, it's right there, folks. It's telling you that the 32, right below the 33, is tied to the 7401, tied to the master. The game master. I mean, it's all right there. And it really comes down to this. It's the 32 and the 33. It's germanium on the left, tied to the 72 angels and demons. And then it's the 33 on the right, which, you know, Jesus and Lucifer both equal 74. Arsenic is poisonous. So, you know, are you believing in the Christ, putting your faith in that cross, that symbol, what does that get you for your reward? Well, I decoded a topic called the Christ battery. I'd suggest checking that out. I personally believe that you just get recycled back in the game. That's why the Christ in, I think it's Luke 22, 10, he says, follow me into the house with a man bearing a pitcher of water. That's Aquarius. I mean, that's, that's telling you, you're going to get recycled back into the game. But nonetheless, when you add these two digits up, 32 and 33 it's going to give you the number 65 and this is a massive massive number in our reality and you know if you haven't seen my decode called angel falls please check it out because it's tied to this 65 and zinc and there is not only the 65 but it's the 65 and 38 and folks when you reduce those numbers down you're going to get the numbers 11 11 and I feel personally, when you're seeing that 1111, you're just part of giving energy to making this reality recycle itself. And whenever we give our focal, focal points on any numbers, you're in fact feeding the, those numbers. So why are we seeing these numbers? You'll get a lot of uh, opinions out on the web of people, or their angelic numbers and all this. I, I just, you know, but those numbers are getting energy and I have a feeling that this 30 and this zinc 
Notice the first letter it starts with, the Z, which is the 26th letter in the English alphabet. 26 is iron, tied to our blood, tied to the yod heh vah tied to the G-O-D. But there is that element zinc in the 65, and of course it has 30 protons, and that is a direct match to the word demiurge. It's a direct match to the word Nazareth. Nazareth equals 30. Jesus said, I'm from Nazareth. 30 is Nazareth. Santa Claus is 30. And this is the story through children's fables of our incarnation. It's Alice. Alice equals 30 in the English. And she follows the rabbit into time. And that's why he holds up the clock. And, you know, lo and behold, here is another layer that we add in that has nothing to do with the 33, but has everything to do with it. And this card system that they call the medicine cards, one of my favorites, came out in 1988. And do you think they were sitting down with Chaldean numerology? Jamie Sams was the creator of this. She was Native American. Do you think she was sitting down with Chaldean numerology and she knew that the word demiurge equaled 30? And she's like, well, you know, we got to make the rabbit card because rabbit's tied to Alice in Wonder. Folks, it, that's such ludicrous thinking to think these people were consciously sitting down and creating their systems based on numerology and children's fables and all that stuff. It's ludicrous. That's not the way this reality, this people are being used. You're being used, I'm being used. You got so you got to know your code. It's not just throw your hands up and say, well, screw this reality. No, find out what your code is. Some of you are not living out your best experiences because you don't know your code yet. You think you know it, but you don't know it. That's why interpretation of your charts and your blueprints is the most important thing you could do. Your kids, everything. And it will be moving forward. But this is the narrative right here, folks. This is what the 33 ends up being. That's why when people say it's this group and that group, it, that's such ludicrous. It's, you should stop following those people. Because they don't know what they're talking about. And I'll stand by that. It goes much deeper than blaming a group for using that number. When you get down and you scrape away the dogma and the propaganda, this is what this is what you're left with. And this is clear that we are all Alice. That's why Alice shrinks down because we shrink down into man. Man is small. You have the giants roaming the earth and now we're small. And then you go down even further. And here's how the narrative is even more important to show and how I know that this is how the narrative really works because 32... When you go look at that card, look at what card it is. It's the freaking ant card. What are what are we what are human beings? What are we to ants? If ants were to look up at us, they would consider us giants. And we consider them very small and tiny. You could just step on an ant and squash it in a second. It has it has it could never even keep up to a human being. And there is that. And so what is this telling us? Well, we are ants essentially. And if you go study the ant, they're a lot like what we do. They live in a colony. We live in colonies, families. They build, we build. And there's a lot of truth to this. And it's all tied to this right here, this germanium and the 72 angels and demons, 32 degrees where water becomes ice. Yeah, we become physicality and we go into time, which is a big piece of how our reality works time that's satan having a short period of time and this is all what's running it folks it has so many layers to it but this is a very important construct right here that i wanted to spend some time on for some of you to really see the truth of how this reality works so that leads into the next topic called 42 and 33 got to bring the 42 into it if you haven't seen my decode on the number 42 please check it out but here is where that tie-in comes into play and why the hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy is so relevant and so important in our matrix reality itself and of course i believe the 42 is going to get you recycled right back into the game Reincarnation equals 42. Crucifixion equals 42. 
And 3, 3 equals the number 42. So, you know, going further, I mean, the fallen angel story. We're, we're all the fallen angels. All of us. Because when you decide to come here, or when you're pushed down in here, when the architect decides to come down here and become man and play out its own game, I don't know how this is so far-fetched for people. I mean, if you're a video game creator, you want, you want to play your own game. I mean, the guy who made Pac-Man, do you think he played Pac-Man at least once in his lifetime? Of course he did. If you're the creator of a game, you're going to want to play it yourself. If you're the architect of this reality, you're going to want to play it. It's common sense. That's not even close to being fitting a square peg in a round hole. And that's where this story of the fallen angels comes into play. And, you know, it's, it's really fascinating because, you know, demon equals 25, fallen equals 25. And there's the angel. The angels and demons is 42. And that's tied to germanium in the 72 and the 32. And of course, you know, it's 42 is molybdenum. It means lead, of course, because when we slow down into physical matter, we become lead. The whole game is turning lead into gold. What your currency is worth, it's all about energetic currency. And this is what happens. Just keep reincarnating. I mean, do we ever get out of this game? I can't say for sure. No one can ever prove that you're going to get out. No one ever prove that you're going to stay in. But more truth is leading that you're going to stay in. You're not leaving. So you might as well just have fun with it. And, you know, I wanted to bring some com comedy into this because I had done I got as a comedian. I have one, two, and three out right now. Some I, got, I lost five subscribers and counting on my first one because of these slides that I'm showing you. And I don't really care. I don't want those people then if you can't have a sense of humor. Because that's what the... You got to have a sense of humor being in this reality because it's it's looney tunes it's craziness down here and you know we're down here in wonderland and of course the architect owns our asses and uh you know i'm having fun with this what else are you gonna do you're gonna people just get too serious and they just really go off in a different layer of existence and again i believe the the architect or architects they're stand up it's a stand-up comedian or stand-up comedians and uh you know when you put your faith in that cross, well, <laughs> it doesn't mean you're going to ascend. I think it just you just get recycled right back into the game again. So what about, uh, you know, I've been really a huge fan of getting into the Francis Bacon cipher because, of course, it's the exclusive cipher that the Vatican uses. That's what I believe. And of course, that's why our social security numbers are in all capital letters because it's called dog Latin and that's what the Vatican uses. And Francis Bacon is the only cipher that utilizes lowercase and uppercase. And when you do all uppercase 3-3, three, three, you get the 372. Notice the 72 in there. Going right back to that 32. And then we, we look and see that 3. Anytime you get into the 3s, the 300s, 30s, it's Gemini and the prison, the two twins. Gemini has a prison for its logo because pi is three. We are in pi through our emotions. Three is the Trinity. Folks, we're in three. So the 372 is very fitting and using the rules of the Francis Bacon, you want to take your total outcome and you want to start to subtract 52. Why 52? Because there's 52 letters in the alphabet. There's tw 1 through 26, the lowercase, 27 through 52, uppercase. So it's 52 is the special number. And uh, you start subtracting until you get down to 52 or below. And the 372 subtracted 52 seven times is the number eight. Eight is the number of death and regeneration. Anytime you see the number eight, it's death and regeneration. That's why Scorpio is the eighth zodiac sign. Death and regeneration. So we go from 3-3 three, three, through the Francis Bacon. It gives us the number eight, and then we bring in a string of pi to get the narrative more detailed, to go further. Not stopping just there. And in the string of pi, the number eight, which is a single digit is found at the 11th decimal digit of pi. And you know, that is tied to this element right here called boron, the number five, 
Five is the busiest number. Remember, 32 is five. And there's that 911, an anagram of the 911. Boron's most, as average is 10, and man through numerology is 10. And then, of course, when you bridge it even further, Jesus is quoted saying, we are salt of the earth. That's what sodium is. 22 is tied to titanium and Saturn's moon Titan, which I have a feeling is our moon. I've been saying this for a while now. Some of you are catching on. But there it is. And remember, 11 is tied to the 89, which is Yaldabaoth and the 24. But let's get into the next topic, folks. This one's going to be hot and heavy. This one is going to blow some of you away. It's going to really bring this all together. It's the topic called Infinite Scorpio. And it starts with this standalone graphic here, which I use in my Architect of the Universe Decoded, which is now a series, but it is the checkerboard, the duality, the black and the white with a Taurus field or Taurus fields over the top. And this is what it looks like, Taurus fields. And, you know, then we take the infinity symbol and the number eight, which is tied to Remember what Francis Bacon showed us right here through the 3-3. So it leads to the number 8. H tied to the number 11, the salt of the earth, and we get into the infinity symbol, which you can place your eyes right behind that infinity symbol it, like it's being a mask, and it's going to encapsulate both of your eyes, and that's where it's at. That's We're creating infinity, past, present, and future, which is gold, we are that. We are the left and right hemispheres. That's why everything is, has twos, two lungs, two, two, two pieces of your brain, two arms, two legs, two eyes, two ears. It's the infinity symbol. And right there is where the crucifixion comes in. This is what I believe where the crucifixion comes into play. And that's why I feel that symbol. Whether it's a, you believe in the torture stake, it doesn't matter. It's going to be the same situation but the cross is going in my opinion is going to get you recycled right back into the game again and you know who came up with the idea of jesus where did it come from well no one knows for sure people are just regurgitating that name some will say it's yeshua but you're just regurgitating that as well you don't have a definitive but the idea of Jesus and what uses Jesus the most is the Roman Catholic Church. That's who came up with the idea. That's, your, that's the best guess. That's why the King James Bible has the yod heh vah -Heh on it because the origination of that was from the Torah. That's why the Old and New Testament is Hebrew and Greek. They come as a package which is the seven and eight. Hebrew and Greek is the seventh and eight, and we're going to get into that. But this is very important. This is tied to the 33. And, you know, we know that when you take one single three, and there's a reason why I have the Scorpio symbol in the top right up there, because it's tied to the three. See, the Scorpio symbol is a three. If I take that Scorpio symbol and flip it on its side, it becomes the number three. And when I take a three and I mirror it, and I've been showing this, a lot of you have been showing it as well. I'm not the first, probably not the first person to discover this, but this was pretty profound for me when I had come out with this and, found, and, and discovered it myself. But when you mirror that three and you bring it together, it then forms the number eight. And of course, remember, what's the zodiac sign number eight? It's freaking Scorpio. So the 3-3 three, three is tied to the number 8, which is tied to Scorpio. That's why it's important to know where your 8th house is located. Like, what's in your 8th house? Do you have any planets in your 8th house? Where's your Scorpio located? In your natal chart. In your Vedic chart. A separate component. These are all important pieces of your blueprint to know how you're going to be functioning in this reality. This is what rules over your sex. This is what rules over your power. Eight runs the five, which runs the two. Two, five, and eight. That's why it's the middle pillar. Two, five, and eight is earth. We are earth, Scorpio. Christ, Lucifer, 
death and regeneration, it's all in here. And it's the 33 in that number eight. That's what the 33 leads to. Even though it's a six, behind the scenes, it's the eight. And behind the scenes even further is us, the homo sapien. It's our vertebrae. It's our spinal cord. You see this right here, this spinal cord is the Scorpio. We are the Scorpio. We are the number eight. We are the, the 33. The Christ is the Scorpio. It's one of the four fixed signs of astrology talked about in the Holy Bible. It's in the Holy Bible. If you're a fan of theology, there's no separation, none. The original ox lion eagle man is 156 through the Hebrew. That's tied to the angle of light again. But this is the 33. And for those of you that have 34 vertebrae, does not matter. I'm going to be getting and breaking that down because I know some of you had emailed me that question. What about the 34? Well, I'm going to show you that. For those of you that do have the 34 vertebrae instead of the 33, it does not matter. 33 or 34, still going to be the same outcome. Still going to be tied to the same outcome. But, you know, the very reason why I know it's Scorpio Besides the 33 and the number eight, bringing those threes together, starting off with the single three, the double three, num the number eight, is because you see at the very bottom of our spinal cord is called the tailbone, and this is the stinger on Scorpio. Make no mistake about it, folks. That is the stinger. I want to be showing that. I, I, I'm going to be showing that. And here is the expressions of Scorpio. And this topic is called Infinite Scorpio. And just to the left is the constellation, the breakdown of the stars. They go by a few different names. I'm going to be showing you the original names that are important because the tail is the most important part for this presentation. So, I mean, again, Scorpio's symbol is a three on its side. It is the letter M, of course, which is the 13th letter, and 13 is tied to... The number 79 which is gold so i know human being we're gold folks 13 is death and regeneration scorpio is death and regeneration the number eight is death and regeneration 33 is death and regeneration so then you take another scorpio symbol and mirror that and then bring it together and now we have the number eight and we just flip it on its side and there it is and you know it's kind of funny because there's the two devil horns and, you know, when you look at Scorpio and uh, the opposite house, here's Scorpio right here, house number eight. And if you go right across the way, you get into the second zodiac sign called Taurus. And Taurus is the bull. And what do bulls have? They have two horns. And they're right there. This is a Jacob's ladder right here. Two of the four fixed signs right across one another. House number two. House number eight. And there is the two horns. I, I just, it's a joke. It's, it's comical. This is how funny the architect is. How precise the architect is, or architects, but how funny it is. Because that's why I say we're all little devils down here. Be the best little devil you can be. But I, but I think this is very clear right here. And if I were to show you when you bring Taurus in there, it forms a penis, but I didn't want to bring that in tonight. That's for my architect in the universe coming up. I, I'm going to be showing that. It's kind of really funny. So it really comes down to this, you know, the 33. And I'm going to be getting to the 34, but in the string of pi, this was a groundbreaking piece for me and for many of you that, you know, saw this for the first time. In the string of pi, it tells you the truth or what I believe to be the narrative and the truth. And notice that the 33 occupies two digits in the string of pi. Remember, we make up pi. Three is, is Gemini, the two twins. We're the two twins. That's why you have two of almost everything. But it occupies digit 24 and digit 25. And here they are. The letter X is the 24th letter and the letter Y is the 25th. This is our X and Y chromosomes right there. You can't miss this. And man is not coding this, folks. Man did not code this. So now you know. I mean, if you didn't know before, the 33 is tied to our X and Y chromosomes. Tied to our spinal cords. And the cards of illumination 
tell their own story. It's the Jack and Jill, which is Gemini. Of course, there are four suits, fire, air, water, and earth. This is the air suit, the mind of the cosmos, because we're being used. Our minds are being used. We have implants in our brain called the all-seeing eye. And this is the starting point of it. The cross is in there. It's called the trefoil. The club is the trefoil, but it's the cross. That's why some of the older Bibles have the trefoil on it. The Dewey Rhymes Bible do. But there it is. It's the Jack and Jill, the Jack and the Queen, 24 and 25. And when you bring in the tarot, which is a cousin of the cards of illumination, it's the Knight of Wands and the Queen of Wands. Card 34 and card 35 with the fool in 22nd position. And when you take 34 and 35, get out your calculators, you're going to get the number 69, which is freaking yin yang. I mean, I could just keep going on and on. I mean, if you remove the pages, this becomes card 33, which is our X chromosomes. You know, and this is tied to the four fixed signs of astrology, which are, you know, right here, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, and Aquarius. These are the four fixed signs. You have four fixed, four mutable, and four cardinal. These make up, we make up the four fixed signs, fixed in this sense. Of course, we're all three, mutable and cardinal. Pis the age of the Piscean age is mutable because you got to be mutable in this crazy world. And so here, you know, here it is right here. And this is where the 34 comes into play. Those of you that have 34 vertebrae, well, there's no separation there's no difference between having 33 or 34 because it's right there in the string of pi, the 28, which is tied to the word architect. It occupies both 33 and 34. It's, it's right. So essentially, you know, human beings are architects. Of course, we build things. And 33 and 34, which makes up our spinal cords, it's going to give you the number 67 and this element right here. So I got a picture of Santa because it's the ho, ho, ho element. This is, the, this is where the comedy comes in. You know, what does Santa Claus do? He comes down the chimney. So the narrative of Santa Claus is the flash of creation coming down and we become man. And we, we start up here and we go down. We get rooted. This is our anchor, Scorpio's tail. But this is this, this element found from 33 and 34 is this is the most magnetic element on the periodic table i want you to think about that for one second if we our vertebrae are tied to the most magnetic element on the periodic table what does that tell you i mean our reality is made up of dielectricity magnetism and electricity magnetic magnetism you have the elohim Tied to the word L. It's it's all right there, folks. There's there's no separation. And this is why I know that mankind is being used. Do we have any free will? That's up to you what you want to believe. Maybe a little. But this we are we I believe in predestination. I'm gonna be showing that in a little bit, but let's break down this Scorpio. Because I told you this is a massive topic that's tied to the 33. And the stinger, I mean, here is our tailbone and here's the star that would match the constellation Scorpio, which is L Scorpi or Scorpi. I mean, look at what it equals, the number 28, which is a direct match to architect, which is a direct match to Lucifer. And that's why in the beginning of this presentation, I showed you Game Master. Three clubs. I mean, you know, you go right back to this right there. I mean, he's tied to the X chromosomes. The X-Men. 24. <clears throat> and it's all right here, tied to the Scorpio. So then we get into the Kundalini. I mean, that's a 28. I mean, I don't know much more support some people would need to see how scripted this reality is and mankind's not coding it. Mankind is just following the script. And that's why discovering the script is so important, so much fun. That's why there's tons of decoders out there. People want to know how this reality works. You find it through the narrative, the script, not believing in what you heard on Sunday, on a Sunday morning, 
That's just a piece of the script. You'll find it through decoding. And this is where, I mean, think about what Kundalini means. It's rising through the 33 or 34 vertebrae. And of course, there's two snakes, Jesus and Lucifer, or Jesus and Thomas, raising the Kundalini. So this, this star that makes up the tail of Scorpio, here is the original spelling that I found from the Greeks. So much from the Greeks, it's amazing. And here is the spelling of it. And it's a total of 98. And, you know, of course, you're going to fact check that against the string of pi and look at where it's found. 98 occupies digits 80 and 81. And why this is so important, if you take 80 and 81 and get out your calculators, it's going to give you the golden ratio, the golden spiral. And we're talking about what mankind is being used for, our energetic gold, gold frequency. And it really comes down to this. Here's your 80 and 81, ladies and gentlemen. This is the two trees from the biblical sense now. Now, it's what's interesting is if you go to Wikipedia and type in Tree of Life Biblical, it's going to give you something different. This is what I've been using for years now, and they changed it recently because they've added on, besides knowledge, that's what this means, a tree of knowledge, it's good and evil. So it has changed the outcome of this. But this is what I've been using for years now. Now, the tree of life, if you just take the tree away, the word tree, we're going to be getting into that. It's going to be 46 and 47. I'm going to be showing that. But there is the 161, the two trees making up the golden ratio. And there it is tied to this stinger of Scorpio right there, our tailbone. I mean, you can't miss this, folks. So this is really, this was a profound discovery for me personally, and I just found this last night, and I had been looking at this for some time. I just didn't see it. But it was a profound discovery, and please allow me to narrate this for you. Just really pay attention to this. This element at the top, chlorine, it's the 17th element. Now, these elements, if you go study them, like if you go to the Royal Society of Chemistry and you click on chlorine it's going to have a little picture it's going to give you some clues here who discovered it you can decode that when it was discovered look at when it was discovered look at the numbers there some of those numbers you, the 174 stand out like a sore thumb and then you're going to get your oxidation states and isotopes it's not going to give you them all it's just going to give you the common ones but if you were to you know open up a web page and type in the isotopes of chlorine it's going to give you quite a few but here are two of chlorine's isotopes measured in a laboratory. One of them is 33, and another one is 30 frickin' four. And there's the 33 and 34 of our vertebrae. And it's tied to this number 17. And again, it's just, it's funny, here's the comedy. Look at what Lucifer, the guy they casted, look at what his birthday is. Frickin' on the 17th. So I know that we're, we're Lucifer. We're Jesus and Lucifer. Those are the two twins that make up the two trees inside of us. It's good cop, bad cop. We all have it. It's acid alkaline. We all have it. And there isn't any exceptions to that. But there it is. This was the big clue that I found right here. And when you add these two up, which make up our vertebrae, if you have 34 or 33, this is the number that you get. And the other clue, if you want to go deeper, before I show the other clue, it's 68.93. So if you go to the periodic table and you look at the 68, it's going to be this element right here called erbium. Erbium has several atomic weights found in Sweden that has some clues, but one of them is 166.932. And so when you go to the numerology cipher and you look at the English, 
There's the 166. There's the 166 tied to the 68. These are bridges. That's how valuable the periodic table is. So there you go, folks. We are the architect being used to experience its own game. And it does that through the two twins. So when you take the 68 and the 93 and you add those up, look at what freaking number you get. More of the golden ratio. How about that? So you can see, folks, the narrative when you just get out of, I mean, this is a great tool to use. But if you, if you just see people using this, if you're just using this, it's going to lead you to dead ends. To strengthen the story, you add in the periodic table, you add in pi, you add in other ciphers from the original spellings of where these words came from, and you're going to find your truth. And this was so profound for me personally. I just found this last night. I worked on this entire presentation all day yesterday. Didn't even leave the house. I was in my chair for I don't even know how long. Too long. But the this is what I found. And this is what the reward I got, right? I mean, clearly you could see the 161. It's right there. Tied to the 33 and 34. And you go right back up. And it's found right... Where did I have the 161? No. Oh. I went past it, but there it is right there. The tailbone, the original spelling for the tailbone or the star in Scorpio matching our tailbone. So I know we're Scorpio folks. We are Scorpio. That's the human being experience. That's why Scorpio scorpions, you know, Scorpio, it's the mischievous sexual one. Yeah. Well, what do you think you do? Procreation. So there it is. It's the two trees once again. And that is tied to 33 and 34. This is profound right here, folks. This is a this is this is so profound. Telling you the true narrative that we are the architect. We are both Jesus and Lucifer, Jesus and Thomas. Stuck down here in Wonderland through reincarnation. So, you know, the name of the tailbone is the coccyx i don't even know if i pronounced that right but here it is the original spelling from the greek and it's 86 and you know what's interesting is you go right back up here and here is el scorpio and there's scorpio right there it's 86 and you know the Spelling actually is this way because they have a K here. We spell it with a C, but it's with the K. So the translation into English is actually this right here, which is 19, which of course is master. Remember, game master. The word master is 19. 19th card is the sun card. That's the master. And what's so fascinating about this is that the 86 is tied to this element right here called radon it has several weights one of them is the 222 now radon is you can say is a byproduct of radium right here because the 88th element radium is before the 86 and there's the 86 so radon's a byproduct of radium and that's raw, folks. Now you get into the ancient Egypt culture. And they paid homage to Ra, the sun god Ra. Sun, the sun god Ra. Radon is a byproduct of radium, which is the 88th element. Think about this stuff that I'm showing you here, folks. And that's why there's no separation of these stories when you synchronize them all together and so this was kind of the best rendition that i could create for the this little narrative here and i put this out on my social media it got a lot of shares and i had said you're the devil so own your shit so many people i see on the world stage just they they just project 
their shit onto something else. And so it's their fault. It's them and they and the boss and this and that. They don't want to take ownership of their own life. It's everybody else's fault. That's called the scapegoat. But we're all little devils down here. And, you know, again, Scorpio is the tailbone all the way up through raising the Kundalini. And then the opposite house, again, is Taurus, the bull. That's why the devil has the two horns. Taurus is the second sign, meaning duality. Taurus, of course, is run by Venus. I think that's why some people say Lucifer is Venus. That's where that narrative would come in, through this expression right here. Is we are Scorpio and Taurus, the 28. Scorpio, again, Scorpio's eight, Taurus is two. What's two and eight? 28. What's 28? Architect. That's, that's us. Taurus and Scorpio. And, you know, I know some of you have 34, but 33 is the average. I mean, there it is. we're the little devils down here. And, you know, that's where, you know, Lucifer gets the phosphorus from. But remember, 30 is tied to zinc and the rabbit. Follow the white rabbit, Neo was told to do. It's the devil, you know, and um, that's us. And we, we end up creating our own addictions through being used, I, I say. But nonetheless, let's get into the next topic. Thanks for sticking with me again. I'm on, I'm looking at my timer. I'm on an hour now. I know I got, I got way more to go. So let's get into the next topic. If you're a Metallica fan... Oh boy, Metallica was being used. I, I I I know this is now this is my opinion. I know they weren't using the number thirty three when they wrote this album. Uh, what for? But Ride to Lightning, that's the album that came out nineteen eighty four. Note the 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 year nineteen eighty four. Eighty four is tied to the thirty seventh element called rubidium and those of you that have been paying attention that is the loop that I feel we're stuck in 19 37 46 19 is the sun the battery the master the game master 19 37 46 46 is the tree of life and so if you look at the top right it's ride the lightning what are we riding the lightning what's lightning 30 Demiurge is 30. And that's where your flash of creation is going to come into play. It's a 56 tied to this element right here, the bridge, which is called barium. And this is swallowing. If any of you have been following, barium is tied to the barium meal and swallowing and digesting. And we're all here in the belly of the beast. Folks, if I show you that stuff, it'll blow your mind. I didn't even bring that in here. But barium means swallowing, and we are swallowed. That's why we're in the belly of the beast. Ride to lightning has everything to do with that. And that 56, of course, is tied to the 137, barium's average atomic weight. And, you know, when you look at lights, camera, action, I mean, this is the joke and the comedy of the architect or architects. This is a big thing in the movie industry. And we're all living out a movie, ladies and gentlemen. We're living out a big soap opera. And it's not even real. Just like when you watch a movie and you get emotionally attached to the movie and you cry or laugh, it's not even real. You get so emotionally involved with the movie thinking it's real and it's not even real. What do you think the architects or architect think of this reality? It's not real. It's real to us, but it's not real to them. And this is, they're the directors and producers. Lights, camera, action. 56. Barium's 137. That's the angle of light. That's telling us that we come down here from the light. We're the humans. And that's the 33. It's right there. 137's the 33rd prime number. And so you go back up to this ride, the lightning. And it goes down to the element at the bottom called iron because ride the lightning's 56, barium is 56. Iron has an atomic weight of 56. It has several. 55 is its average, but it has a 56. And folks, what's in our blood? Yeah, it's called iron. 
tied to the yod heh vah because the yod heh vah is 26. The word G-O-D in the English is 26. And the yod heh vah came out, according to the research I've done, it came out in the Bronze and Iron Age. Lights, camera, action, ladies and gentlemen, right there. There's a trinity for you. And this is the story of mankind. We're living in a movie, a simulation. So this album, Ride the Lightning, came out on July 27th, 727, which is this card right there. July 27th is the Ace Clubs card. It's the 14th card in the deck. It's tied to these three big words in our vocabulary. These three big words. They're all the same. The time God is Satan. Satan is time. When the architect comes down here, it only has a short period of time because we're not immortal. We are mortal men and women. Down here in duality. From baby to senior citizen and then repeat. That's what this story tells us. We ride the lightning. We come down through the flash of creation. Through the angle of light. It's right there. Can't miss it. We become man through our blood and woman through our blood. And then it's lights, camera, action. And we become part of the script, the movie, the Truman Show. I mean, that, that that's what's going on. That's what this is all about. I decoded Welcome to the Machine by Pink Floyd. Please check it out. It was an amazing decode. So again, this album came out. I mean, if you weren't, convinced throughout this presentation already an hour and four minutes in i mean i'm gonna keep i have more material folks but look at this this album came out on july 27 1984 and of course 1984 was not a common year it was a freaking leap year so july 27th i mean it's interesting because if it was a common year there's the architect the 28 just get rid of the zero but it's the 29 which is linked to yaldabaoth and of course, 157 days. Remember I showed the 157 earlier in this presentation tied to the 64th element, the GD element. I mean, these are subtleties, but obviously the architect or architects are pristine and perfected mathematicians. This script is, works perfect. And so the 209, of course, I'm going to go and look at into the string of pi. Look at where it appears. Not just any digit. The 53, the 53rd freaking digit, which is tied to the element iodine, which is one half of the I am that I am. It's telling us it's the creator or the creators of this game coming down here to play, it, play out its own game. It's got to ride the light to come down here into physical matter. And then they get trapped under the ice, which is 32. From 33 down into 32. And there is a song on this album. Whoops. And it's not just any song in the lineages of the song, folks. It's in the number five spot. And remember what five is. Boron. Man. Do you think they were sitting down when they decided what songs were going to go where? And they're like, well... Trapped Under Ice is five, going to be five because that's 32. 32 is five. And we know that. So maybe I would love to sit down with Hetfield and Hammett and Ulrich and these guys that created this album. I would love for them to see this decode because I know their jaws would be on the floor because I know they weren't sitting down with this kind of information when they created these albums. Maybe some of it. I can buy into that. But I'm going to show you some stuff. Here we go. So 32 is five. Trapped under ice. Look at the length of the song. Four minutes and five seconds. When you break that down, four minutes times 60 seconds. And then you got to add on the extra five seconds. 60 plus four is 240. Add the five. It's 245 seconds. And look at the total length of the album. 47 is tetragrammaton. I mean, it's a no-brainer right there. But... Nonetheless, it's 245 seconds, and that number right there, bringing it into the string of pi. Look at where it's found, folks. I mean, are you freaking kidding me? 
300 and second decimal digit. What's 32? It's ice. It's where ice forms. That is the narrative of our reality. We ride the lightning, flash of creation. We come down from light. We become physical matter. We get into our avatars and we start playing this game. And it's the 32. And this is where this 72 angels and demons come into play. It's right, it's right there. You know, and how big this is. This is the seventh letter. This is the spiral. This is what the letter, this is what the word gold starts with, by the way. Not on accident. But these are the subtleties that we must take into consideration. And, you know, more going a little bit further. I mean, the 245, it's, there's the X chromosome. What's the X? The 24th letter. You see, 302 is the second digit. What's the 303rd digit? It's the number four. What's 24? What's two and four? 24. What's 24? X chromosomes. 24, as a matter of fact, is this element right here. It's chromium. And if you look at this, the clue is right here. Comes from the word chroma, means color. That's us. We're humans. We're this. We're spelled H U, but we're this. Hugh. Man, it's right there, 26. It's a mirror, 62, 88. G-O-D, tetragrammaton. It's the tetragrammaton, whatever that is, Yaldabaoth, Jesus, Lucifer, they're all in bed together. Jupiter, Zeus, Kronos, Uranus. It's, 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 own, it's coming down and playing out its own game. It's right there. I mean, it's 16. That's the 1.6 is the golden ratio. Folks, I mean, I don't know much more loud and clear. Some of you, your jaws are probably on the floor. This is like profound, profound information. And I'm not saying that to pat my own back. I'm not looking for any handouts. I'm just looking for the truth on how as close as I can get to the machinations of how this world works. Beyond the scope of the dogma and propaganda. And I say that loosely because it's all just influence. Make the truth your own. So, you know, getting into some advanced decoding, we get into the sine and cosine waves, which is what we make up through our emotional responses, our fear and love. It's right there. Sine and cosine waves of the number 245, which is found at the 302nd decimal digit, 302, 303, and 304, making up our spinal cords. But it's the 50 and the 69 which adds up to the 119. And of course, 119 is tied to the 50th element named Tin, which is tied to Jupiter and Zeus and the all-seeing eye and the great red spot. But it's Tin and Thulium. And you can have some fun with these if you want to go deeper. But remember, this 119 is linked to this element right here called Boron. Boron's average is 10, and that's man. But if you come down to the oxidation states and isotopes, the most abundant isotope of boron is 11.009. There's your 911, matching that of tin, matching that of Jupiter, which is Jupiter has the great red spot on it, which may be running us. But nonetheless, there is that 119, the mirror of the 911, found from the song Trapped Under Ice. And when you do the alchemy of that, using the trusty calculator, I mean, I don't know, I don't know how much more proof or support you would need to see how this reality is completely scripted. And there it is. It's the 288.836, bringing that right into the string of pi. Look at where the 288 is found. Folks, come on. It's once again, the 33 and 34 and 35, but that's the 33 and 34, and there's the 28, and there's Architect once again, found from this song, Trapped Under Ice. So it's telling you. Now, is the narrative that there are really fallen angels trapped here? Maybe. That's possible. So let's get into the topic. The Trap Fools. Now, in the word trapped, 
is that 32. And, um, you know, again, we can't just call it a day by looking at numerology. Some, some people do. We, you just can't call it a day. And, and think you got it figured out with just using numerology. But here's a graphic that I created off of the title Scuba Diver. I was listening to the album Diver Down by Van Halen. And, of course, the album cover is the flag of a scuba diver. And you'll notice right here at the top right, scuba diver. Here's the clue. What do scuba divers do? They go, they descend down. They descend down. Sometimes under ice. And the water and the air are the separating points. There's a different world down in the marine world. It's different than the air that we breathe. But nonetheless, there it is. There's the clue. Scuba diver is 33. And then, of course, that's water is liquid at 33 degrees. So you descend down in the water and it freezes at 32 degrees Fahrenheit and the conversion of that. And here's where the tarot comes in and tells its story is it freezes at zero degrees Celsius. And that's why we are called the trap fool because the zero cards, the fool and, and there, there that is. And again, the germanium and the 72 is tied to the angels and demons. That story anyway, not saying it's true. But when you divide these two atomic weights into one another, you're going to get the friggin' yin, not only the yin yang here, but you know, you could just go right to the 32 and 33 and you're going to get the yin yang, which is what we're all making up the, the two fish. We're just fish out of water. You know, we don't have gills. We have lungs. So, you know, here is again, here's another graphic rendition of, you know, the human being being perhaps trapped under the water and becoming physicality. And that's where I think the fool comes in and tells its glorious story with the tarot because 32 degrees Fahrenheit is zero degrees Celsius and the zero cards, the fool card. So we become trap fools. And when you bring in the English, the word trapped is the number 80. And, you know, you look to the right and in the, again, the biblical sense, the tree of life is the number 80. So when we get down, when we, when we come into, when we incarnate into life, we're trapped. And I think the word trapped just means we're trapped until we die. And then who knows what happens after that. But my research is leading me into just coming back again and again and again and again and again. And you just level up. That's why if, if this reality is, if we have free will, if this reality is being the best version of yourself that you can be, then decoding yourself is the most important thing to do. And then being the best person that you can be. And that can only be found by decoding who you are and why you're here to make sense of your life. Because if this game is not getting out and just coming back, well, you'd want to level up. You'd want to come back as a higher frequency. You want to come back as a, a better person next round. So obviously many choices, many options with this, but there is that trapped and tied to the original spelling of the tree of life being trapped and tied to the fallen angels because this is, this was the other big clue is, you know, the word Nephilim is the 32. And we are all the fallen angels, all of us. They just title it the Nephilim. And you bring that into the string of pi and look at where it is found. It occupies two digits, 15 and 16. Of course, the big takeaway is the devil card right there. But if you add 15 and 16 up, it's going to get you the 31 and that's going to be pi. And that's Gemini, which is why Gemini has the two prison bars as its logo trapped 32 5 and 6 barium and so this is where that story of the fallen angel comes in it's the 200 fallen angels and that's tied to the element mercury mercury has several atomic weights one of them 
is 200. And man, I could go off on an hour long presentation just on this topic and that whole story that's written in the script. I don't know if it's real. I don't know if that really were there the 200 fallen angels and that was the starting point of man. I don't know. But clearly our reality is scripted. So if you can get past that whole story, the story's written in the script, but our reality's completely scripted anyway. So even if the fallen angels really are a part of our reality, they were supposed to be a part of our reality. It didn't happen on accident. It happened by mathematical precision. And notice the tree of life is 80. Fallen, we're all the fallen angels falling down into life. And when you really break this down, let me narrate this for you. This is so profound. Is that you see this word in Hebrew, which is again, this is where the original idea of the tree of life came from and the tree of knowledge. Didn't come from anywhere else, but obviously it's written in the software. But you see that 34 is the word tree. And how many vertebrae do some people have? 34. So I know with absolute certainty that this vertebrae is our tree. This is the so below tree. We are the micro, excuse me, the micro. This is our tree, the spinal cord. That's why it's 34 in the original spelling now. And then life is 46. And remember what the 46 is, folks? It's tied to that loop, 19, 37, 46. And I just don't think we get out of that loop. And that's why I just feel we get recycled back into the game. And it's not a bad thing. You can say it's bad, but level up. Check all those things off the list. Become the best version of yourself. So when you bring in the periodic table and the elements, again, bridging this, here is, remember, tree tied to our vertebrae. This is the tree. And it's tied to this element right here called selenium. And selenium is from the moon goddess. So when you bridge this and you look at this, this is really important now. There it is. The name is derived from Selene, which is the Greek name for the moon. And the moon is tied to the god Sin. And we are all sinners. We are all sinners. Think about what I'm showing you. We are all sinners tied to the moon. And if you remember my decode on the 42... I had this graphic right here and I showed how this is the Trinity telling us and showing us our incarnation reincarnation process. The moon is what is controlling the tides and the water and we are made up of primarily water. We are from the moon. That's why the Titans, we are the Titans. And Saturn has a moon called Titan. We have a moon and I think it's Titan. It's tied to this right here. We're the tree. 33, 34 vertebrae. I mean, it's right there. And selenium has several atomic weights. One of them is 79. 79 is gold. And it also has 80. 80 is tied to the total of the tree of life, which is tied to the fallen angel story and mercury. But the other big clue is life. It's 46. Again, tied to that loop, but it's tied to this element called palladium. And the 105, remember the architect, great architect of the universe is 105 from the Mason expressions. But that 46 is right there, folks. And that's why I know for sure, with that absolute certainty, we are the makeup of both of these characters. Good cop, bad cop. Feed the wolf. We're, the, we're feeding the wolf. It's using us. These stories use us to navigate through life. And, you know, here's a simple expression from our bodies just to support more of what I'm showing you as truth 
my truth. Here is the two eyes. We have optical nerves. And there is that word or words. Optic nerve is 46. That's a direct match. Again, just using the Chaldean. Don't have to, I don't have to mix and match. That gives you better chances. But it's Jesus Lucifer. It's right there. It's good cop, bad cop. And then when you get into the brain, you have the dorsal and ventral roots coming off the brain. And there's your Y forming into the X, but it's another 46. Which, and that's why I know we're both of these characters. You can call it Yeshua, and you can call it Satan, and what, folks, we're both. We're both of the wolves. And this is clear and convincing evidence in my reality. What about yours? So let's get into the next topic called the red pill. The red pill. And this was in the movie, The Matrix. And I mean, the word rabbit hole is the 32. And how fitting. Again, I mean, I showed how important Alice shrinking down, going and following the rabbit into time. That's us being giants and slowing ourselves down into physical matter and becoming mankind. And we all took the red pill because if you study the light spectrum, it's infrared to gamma. And gamma is the shorter waves and then infrared are the longer waves. And this is the spiral going down into duality taking the red pill. I mean, it's, I mean, infrared's 28, architect's 28. Remember what Alice had to do to get into that little door. She had to take a pill. And she shrunk down. And that's, that's what this narrative's telling us. And this is all the light spectrum that gets back into barium and the 137, and that's tied to the 33. But there it is. There's, the 33 and 32 are tied together, and we end up going down onto the checkerboard and playing chess. And we end up going into a gold mine because that's a 32. And I said, I've been saying we're food for the architects, the ambrosia, and it's all about gold currency down here in Wonderland through our emotions. We feed the battery. Battery's 19, the sun's 19, master's 19. So it runs this reality. You call it whatever you want to call it. Yaldabaoth, yod heh Allah. You can call it whatever you want to call it. Shiva, Brahma, Vishnu. It's all the same. Just different wardrobes. It'll take, it takes all of those wardrobes. We all are part of being mined for our gold. Down here in duality when we went down the rabbit hole. I mean, that's, that's, that's gold itself. So just remember that the hole that we went down in, which is 20 is the hole of duality and 32, which is the rabbit hole, which is duality, which is black and white is tied to the 131 because it's the 32nd prime number. And I did a decode on the dark side of the moon. And there's a song on that album called Brain Damage. And this is right from the lyrics, not adding or adding or taking away any of the letters. But David Gilmore saying there's someone in my head, but it's not me. And look at what the total is. 131. Look how many letters there are. 32. And it's tied to this element xenon, which is the X, tied to our X chromosomes. It comes from the word xenos, which means stranger. Yeah, the stranger on our head. The little voice in your head that's talking right now, that owns you. And it's tied to the 32nd prime and the 131. And when you get down in your duality, and you went down this rabbit hole, you're, you're being used to experience the game. Make no mistake about it. 
So now let's get into the next topic is the air we breathe. The air that we breathe. And here is a massive clue to getting to the tree of life. And again, it's our spinal cords. It's Scorpio, but it leads to our lungs. That's why trees look just like our lungs. And you'll notice in the background, there are two, there is a set of lungs. It's what they look like. And folks, this is the best representation to show you how this reality is completely scripted. These are the two elements that we breathe in the air to keep us alive. Without it, we would be dead. It's nitrogen and oxygen. And there are a sliver of small other gases, but the primary is oxygen and nit nitrogen is the primary. Of course, it's seven. Oxygen is the runner up. And when you do the alchemy of these, you're going to get 29, which is Yaldabaoth. But here it is. It's the 58 and the puppet master because nitrogen and oxygen is 58. Once again, go into that as above, so below. We are the so below. We're the so below tree. And the as above is the cosmos. And the planets are the chakras of the cosmos. And there's the tree of life right there. Just found from the air that we breathe. And there's the tree. The two trees. The tree of life and the tree of knowledge. And the tree of life, again, here is... Where it's found, the 46 is 19 and 20. That's 39. It's going to be tied to Lucifer, but it's Jesus and Lucifer, 46. And there's that loop. And then the 47, look at where it's found. It's just one more extra one. I mean, you couldn't make this up. And here's the knowledge, knowing that you're in the box. And then we get into the 33 and the crucifixion and the 7 and 8. Remember, I'm going to go back up here. This is the air that we breathe. It's nitrogen and oxygen. It's 7 and 8. So then we come down to the cards of illumination and the tarot to give us a deeper, profound meaning of the narrative of what it means to be down here in duality see nitrogen is right here seven now there are seven suits because that's the, the four element i'm sorry there are four suits making up fire air water and earth this represents earth the spades represents spirituality finding the truth spades means earth naturally it's going to be tied to nitrogen and oxygen but this is card number 46, the seven spades. This is card number 47, the eight spades. I showed this earlier, but let me show you how profound this is. Because you see, the cards of illumination came first and the cousin was the tarot. This came after the cards of illumination. But nonetheless, they both have their say in this and this seven spades is the seven of swords. Tied to the tree of life. And this card, the keywords, is strategy. Because when you're down here in Wonderland, when you come down into the tree of life, remember, life is 46 in the original biblical. When you come down here into life, you got to form your strategy. But this card also means deception. And that's what I feel is happening, is that, you see... You're not shown this truth. In school, you gotta figure it out on your own. And that's what these cards, these this is spirituality. The spades. You gotta figure this esoteric. And that's why it was labeled as from the devil, which it really is, because we're the we're the devil. But the way the reality works, it's not gonna be rolled out onto a red carpet for you or me. But this is what I feel. See, the architect. 
Doesn't this reality is not real to the architect. It's a movie, just like our television's a movie. It's not real, but we still get emotionally involved with it. But the tree of life, seven spades, strategy and deception. And then you come over to oxygen and the tree of knowledge. And it tells another story. And the eight spades is the eight of swords. And this eight of swords is trapped and limited. And you see, folks, when you wake up to how this reality works and you open up to the tree of knowledge, which is considered good and bad, which is what you're not supposed to do, that's because you realize that you're trapped and you're limited because when you come down from light whatever those dimensions look like i'm sure they're far different than our reality of course but you're now limited because now you're solely relying on the physicalities of mankind and remember what scorpio is it's the number eight which is the 33. So clearly these have so much merit in telling us what the 33 is and the tree of life and tree of knowledge. It's, that's what it is. It's the tree of life and tree of knowledge. 33 is the 32, which is the 31, which is the 30, going down the rabbit hole and becoming trapped until we die. And then who knows what happens after that? I think you just get reincarnated back in. But here's what the medicine cards have to say. More layers. And, you know, here's the 46 card tied to the tree of life. Remember, I think the tree of life doesn't tell you, but it's, it's very deceiving because when you come down here, you're stuck. And you may never get out. I don't know. I say that with a light heart. But I came out with a decode on that big topic on the world stage, and there was a book by Dean Kuntz called The Eyes of Darkness. And it led to that book telling the narrative of what's going on on the world stage, the eyes of darkness. And it led to this card, the raccoon, because the raccoon has the eyes of darkness and very mischievous animal. And it's tied to the tree of life and nitrogen and 14. You know, remember folks, 14 is time. The word time equals 14. The word God equals 14. The word Satan equals 14. And what's pi? 3.14. And that's the dominant air that we breathe. And it's tied to the tree of life. So the eyes of darkness, deception, mischief. And then we have the 47, which is the prairie dog. Think about what I'm showing you. The, what, the, what are we folks? We're dogs. It's God spelled backwards. This is us. We're the prairie dogs. Trapped. In life. But you got to have a light heart with this stuff. If you let it get to you, you can lose it. So what do the elements have to say about all this? Well, it's palladium, of course, 46. There's the 106 tied to the golden ratio, 1.6. And then it's silver, which is the 107. 106, 107. And you can alchemize these and bring them all together. But here is something I created, and it has some symbolism in there. And I'm not going to narrate this. I'm going to let you pause this video and see if you can figure out. This is kind of like, you know, Using those muscles in your brain, you figure out what you can find. You maybe discover, but there's a lot of truth in here with these numbers and symbolisms and cards. If you know what you're looking for, just remember this is the tree of life and tree of knowledge. And this has significance, this has significance, and this has significance, and these have significance. And when you alchemize 46 and 47, this has significance. Remember, folks, what is that number right there? What's that tied to? Go put these numbers into the string of pi. See if they're prime numbers, folks. Add them up. Have some fun with it. Just 
You know, exercise your mind. So even when you do 4-6 and 4-7, tree of life, tree of knowledge, that's us. That's gold, folks. And again, it goes right back to the game of life and being gold. It's 46 and 47, which is 93. 93 is tied to 21. 21 is tied to this card and this card. It goes right back to the tree of life. And it really kind of is at this point right here it's the, it's the beginning and end this is the reincarnation incarnation process we start off in the beginning as the demiurge right there and then the demiurge decides it wants to experience its own game so it follows the rabbit into time the demiurge the the architect decides to become man or woman and enters time. And there's only so much time being a physical avatar. I mean, look at the truth on this. The rabbit is 30. Down the rabbit hole, Alice went. And then went into time. And look at what card time is. I mean, are you kidding me? It's the G, it's the D-O-G. It's the dog. And I mean, you know, again, you go right back up here and there it is, the prairie dog. I mean, do you think that Jamie Sams was sitting down and figuring this out and knew that 47 was tied to the 14? I doubt it. But that's the narrative. It's the architect deciding to come down and experience its own game. And... We're dogs. Like when you walk your dog, you're the handler of your dog. Well, what's walking you? It's the G-O-D, the architect. And, you know, I mean, there's the 44. And, you know, what is 44? Keep your eye on that Chaldean. It's gold currency. That's beginning and end. Gold currency. We're being used for our gold currency. And if you want to go even further than that, for those of you that are advanced in the decoding and you use these elements on the periodic table, you go right to the 44th element and it has an average atomic weight of 101 and there is the rabbit hole in between those two ones, which sits at the 853rd decimal digit, which is 88. I could keep going on and on and on. This is mathematically precise, not designed by man, just being used. So as... The architect descends down into time, becomes Satan because it only has a short period of time, can get angry and starts to sin, comes through the moon. That's why the moon god is sin. It goes into the dualistic abyss and begins its game of life. And that's the contract that we have, has a contract with itself. And... Again, it's the 17th prime number, that 59. Remember, 59 is 14 reduced down. The 14 and 17 come together. That gives you the number of Lucifer and time and life. But we enter into yin-yang and the black and white. And this is such a profound topic, folks. I know I'm an hour. Just when I looked over, an hour and 41 minutes, I looked over and I looked at pi. And that's why I know I'm being used. I'm, I'm totally cool with that. I told you this would be a long presentation. This is by far the most informative decode I have done to date. Please pay attention to this one. This is really, really important. It's the yin, the yin yang. This is our dualistic abyss. The two wolves feed the wolf. It's hungry. So if you look at the yin yang, it's the seven and the 10 which makes up life, going right back up here. There it is, it's yin yang, the contract with God, we enter down into duality, 17. The matrix is 17. So what's really fascinating is, you see, when you say yin yang, it's the seven and 10. So naturally, you bring that into numerology and look at what we get. Seven is 24, 10 is 14. It's a total of 38. That's tied to the Queen Diamonds. That's tied to the Manchurian Candidate. But the 24 and 14 is tied to these two elements right here, chromium 
and silicon. And when you do the alchemy of chromium, and this is, this is what's, I forgot about this slide. <laughs> when you do the alchemy of chromium and silicon found from the origination of yin yang, it's 80 and 81. And what's 80 and 81? It's the tree of life and tree of knowledge again, again. So you can clearly see how important these elements are tied right to the Chaldean. That's why I know these two are in bed together directly. It's top dog cipher. It's the tree of life and tree of knowledge. And <clears throat> allow me to narrate this even further. So the yin yang 710, 710 is 24 and 14. 24 and 14 is chromium. Remember, this is our X chromosomes. 14 is time, God and Satan. This is the end. 14. 28 is architect. I mean, I can go on and on. 51 is the all seeing eye. Chromium and silicon, when you go through numerology, it's the number 55. And that's why I know for absolute certainty that all of our lives are predestined. It's predestination. And of course, 55 is the 10th Fibonacci number. And just remember that 55 and 10, that 10 goes right back to this element right here called boron. The average is 10. And, you know, just remember that that word is 10. Architect is 28. We are the architect in human form. And we all have a script that we must follow. And it's through predestination. And, you know, remember, 55 is iron. And that's what's in our blood. So the truth is staring us right in the face. It's will you accept this? And then not just to throw your hands up, say, screw it. Start to study your code. Go read your natal charts. Get someone to interpret your charts or go research it yourself. Study your numerology, your life path, your personality types, your Enneagram, your human design, your Mayan astrology, your Vedic astrology. These are all part of your blueprint and your predestination tied to the 32 and 33. So when we get into the cards, folks, I'm getting to the tail end of this presentation. This is such an important layer to this decode. So please keep watching. See, the yin-yang is the seven and the ten. Yin is feminine, yang is masculine. Of course, man is ten. Yang is masculine. It's these four cards that make up our reality. It's the heart suit, the club suit, the diamond suit, and the spade suit. <coughs> and here's the tens. Making up the yin-yang in all its totality, covering all the elements and if you're unsure how important these cards are and how much merit they have, well, look no further. Because when you take all the cards in all the lineages of each suit, ace through king, it's a 211. Not only is it 52 letters tied to the tellurium and tellus and earth and prison planet, but it's tied to the tetragrammaton and the tree of knowledge. If you want the knowledge, you go with the 47. You may not like what you're going to find. But that's what you're going to get. That's how powerful these cards are. And when you look at the numbers of these cards, allow me to narrate this. Just follow along with what I'm going to show you. Again, this is the yin. This is the yang. This is who we are. We're the black wolf and the white wolf. Feed the wolf. That's the 88. The Taurus fields. It's all there. So we have the sevens of yin. It's the seven of hearts. Seventh card, 20th card, 33rd card, 46th card. And then the yang. Tenth card, 23rd card, 36th card, 49th card. And when you add these up, here are what you get. Yin is 106. Yang is 118. Through this expression, it's palladium and tin. You get out your calculators and add up 46 and 50, you're going to get the number 96. And what's 96? It's the freaking yin-yang. 
That's why I know how powerful these cards are. And you should be using them in your decodes. Going further, when you add up the 106 and 118, you're going to get the number 224. And as I mentioned earlier, radon, which is the 86th element, which is tied to Scorpio, tied to Lucifer and us and Jesus, comes from radium. And 224 is radium, and that's the 88. And that's the Taurus fields. And that's where the yin yang comes from. That's what we're stuck in. Very, very powerful. And these are the elements that make up the yin yang when you correlate them with the cards. So this is what it looks like right here when we synchronize the cards and we bring in the elements of the periodic table to match up with each card. So the seventh card is nitrogen. The 20th card, seven of clubs, is calcium. The 33rd card is arsenic and the 46th card is palladium. Fire, air, water, earth. I think I have it right. There it is, right there. Fire, air, water, earth. Fire is hearts, air is clubs, water is diamonds, earth is spades. Doesn't matter what the tarot says, that's a different system. This is what the cards mean. And here are the elements to match those cards to synchronize them. So let me go back here. And this is why I know how profound this is and how it's tied to 32 and 33 and being stuck in this reality. However that looks to you. But when you alchemize these eight elements, remember there's eight here. Eight's tied to Scorpio. Eight's tied to your vertebrae. Eight is tied to the 33. When you add them all up, folks, this is the number you're going to get. 505.161. Based off the yin-yang. 505.161. What do you see there? There's the golden ratio on the feminine side. And there's our iron because iron is 55. Our blood tied to iron in the G-O-D. And it's tied to this word right here. Predestination. And remember, on the feminine side of the decimal, it's the tree of life and tree of knowledge. You see how powerful this is. This is some of the most profound decoding I have ever shown, in my opinion. And it should show you how scripted our reality is based off the yin yang, which is the Jack and Jill, which is what we all are. Good cop, bad cop. Black sun, white sun, yin yang. Predestination, it's right there predestination it's right there and remember it's this element right here there's the 55 what do we have in our blood iron what's the god 26 it's right there and it's time the god coming down into time becoming man through the yin yang through the and this is what the alchemical elements tell us that we become man through predestination our script is written we design it before or we have it designed before we get here and then we enter into the golden ratio through the fibonacci sequence through the pineal gland and we go down into time and we become mankind into the tree of life and tree of knowledge how profound is this? And even further, if you want to put a nail in the coffin, a serious nail in the coffin, to show you how much merit this information has, get out your calculators. If you add up 505 and 161, you're going to get this number right here. 
666. And we become the beast. The architect becomes the beast. As above, so below. Profound information that is absolutely undeniable. So it's nothing to be afraid of. It's just what we are. We're the architect in our avatars. And this is what we make up. I've shown this. We make up the sine and cosine waves. And this is pi. This is three. That's why 33 is pi. 3.1 starts off with the number three. 33 is starts off with the number three. We make up the sine and cosine waves. And this is what the definition of it is. This is our fear and love. Sine wave is function Y and equals sin X. There it is. It's the X and Y chromosomes. That's what we make up to come down here and become the beast. And that's carbon, by the way, which is tied to the 56. Barium, 137 and 33. You can see how it's all tied together beautifully, mathematically precise, and man did not code this. Not possible. We become the X and Y chromosomes. We make up the sine wave and cosine waves through our love and fear emotions. And that 49, that's the X and Y, is down in a hole because you see, we go down into the abyss, into the dualistic abyss. And there it is, folks, staring, staring us right in the face. That is absolutely unfreaking deniable. Because remember, man is 10. We go down into the abyss, into duality. We go down in that hole. And we become fish. Remember, 49 is this card right there. We become the salmon. We become the fish. This is how comical this reality is. It's a joke. It's comical. I don't know how else to describe it. Get on into the fishing hole. That's why Jesus was a fisher of men. It's a joke. It's it's funny. But that's what you're looking at. And we become the four elements through the four cards. That's why your birth card, your spirit card, your cousin cards, your karma cards, your planetary ruling cards, these are all important. You should know what your elements are tied to your cards, what the numbers mean. But it's us becoming the beast. And just to kind of finish the tail end of this decode folks these are the two most dominant cards in this expression of the yin yang it's the earth cards because as we descend down into the abyss we essentially become the spade the earth and the spade suit represents the earth which represents our spirituality and this is the yin card which is the tree of life being born into this reality and then here's the yang which is down the hole 49 and we become part of the earth and this is the 49th card become the fish and when you bring these together here is the expression of that because this is the yin being born into the tree of life here's our the tree remember the trees our spinal cord and then this is life, 46, being stuck in that loop, 19, 37, 46. For those of you that have been paying attention, well, it's tied to the yin of earth, 46, the 46 card. And then the yang is we get thrown down into the hole, the 49th card, indium. And, you know, even indium, keeping your eye on that Chaldean, is 21, the world card. We get thrown down into the world, onto earth, and we become the 10, and the 10 become man, become the architect. And that's what this is telling us through the yin yang. Make no mistake about it. That's exactly what happens and how important this is for us to acknowledge. And just to kind of seal the deal on this, if you take 49 and 46 and you add them together, get out your calculators, this is the number you're going to get. 
95. And it just tells us we are the I am. The I am becomes us through the yin yang, throwing itself down in a hole, becoming a fish. That's where the Truman Show comes into play. It's the yin yang. And there's more of it. When you do the numerology of indium and palladium, the two elements representing the earth, the yin yang, the seven and 10, it's the 52. And there's kind of the, the seal of the deal. It's the prison planet. This is essentially what we become. We'd be stuck in, down here in this planet. And this element, tellurium, go right to the element on the periodic table just to give you the bridge. Here it is. It's means of the earth. Tell us. That's where this word comes from. It's a no-brainer, folks. Right there. The earth signs. It's the seven and ten, the yin-yang. So make no mistake about it. We end up coming down here into pi, into the 666, and become the beast. And we live out a life of purgatory. And purgatory is 141 for a reason, because we become pi. And just remember... You know, pi is the 161 because here is the pi. Or 169, excuse me. The 169, which is 69 is the yin yang and the one is the 100. And that's what the purgatory means. But it's pi 3.14. That's what we get stuck in, folks. So, woo. That was two hours. This one's going to be long. I'm looking over at my timer. I'm just under two hours. The longest, I think, presentation I have ever done. But as you can see, folks, how important this decode was. The number 33 decoded. And what layers go into the 33 and how you can't just label it stuck to organizations. It's foolish thinking. This reality is scripted. We're not writing the code. We are just following the code. Becoming aware of the code may make you a little pissed off. Because as the 47th card says, you're trapped and limited. And you become the prairie dog. A little dog on the, on the leash. You're on a leash. You just can't see it. So nonetheless, folks, what did you see during this presentation? A, a shit ton of information that I just put out. And I'd love to hear what each and every one of you saw during this presentation. I could have added so much more, but I mean, two hours is long enough. Some of you probably won't even make it through that. And those of you that are hearing that, you made it through, congratulations. I don't even know why I even said that because those that didn't make it through won't even hear that message. But nonetheless, folks, that's all I got for today. My name is Logan. This is Decode Your Reality. I thank each and every one of you for your donations, your Patreons, those of you that gotten readings, thank you for allowing me to be the catalyst. If you are looking to get a reading to go deeper into who you are and your blueprint, just send me an email, decodeyourreality at gmail.com. So that's all I got. Till next time, folks. We will see you later.